guys, Steve Davis here, Stillwater Woodcraft. Thought today we'd continue on with our fire series on another friction fire method. This method is called the Arctic Strap Drill. Okay, I learned this method a few years back from a guy named Al Cornell, who is a uh, kind of a recognized master at uh, primitive fire techniques in the bushcraft world. Now, what I really like about this method is it kind of combines the bow drill and hand drill together. Now this method that I was told was done because it can be done with big heavy mitts on, okay, in the Arctic obviously. But, you know, the set here is a leather strap, okay, about, oh, this one's three, three and a half foot long. Then the set itself, this is where it's kind of a melt between a hand drill and the bow drill set. Okay, you have a fireboard and you want to select it similar to what you'd want for a hand drill. Thin, or thinner I should say, half inch thick or so. Um, obviously something soft enough you can dig your thumbnail in. Tulip poplar works well. Um, a thin piece of cottonwood works okay. Um, this is a piece of uh, palm frond, okay, it's the center of a big palm leaf that's dried out and it turns kind of woody. And then the spindle, okay. The spindle is the length of a bow drill spindle and then the diameter of a hand drill spindle. This is actually a piece of uh, river willow. And then Instead of a handhold like you would have in a bow drill set, what we have is a mouth hold. Okay, it has a small hole in it here, just like a handhold for a bow drill set, but just smaller. And it's sized so you can bite it. I know uh, some people are wondering where I'm going with this that haven't seen this method before, but it actually works really, really well, okay? Now, a couple years ago, I had a large tumor cut out of my arm, okay, my upper right arm. Now, doing the bow drill, you know, I had a real hard time because I had this big piece of meat missing now, and everything was all pulled together. It was sore and whatnot, and I had a really hard time doing a bow drill. Um, since then, you know, my arm's back in shape. I can do a bow drill now, no problem, but during that time, I used this arctic strap drill and I came to really like it. So, to get this set together, you know, basically you just need to make your mouth hold piece comfortable for you. And then our set, you know, just like I described. Then we're going to prepare everything the same way we would for a hand drill or a bow drill, okay? Our, our piece that's going to go against our board is going to be shaped like the pointy end of an egg. I'm going to clean this one up here a little bit. It's kind of polished down. Roughing it back up. So. Get that cleaned up. Then our other end that's going to be in our mouthpiece, we want to a nice point. Now we're going to get to the point where we start doing this, and you're going to think that that pointy stick is real close to your eye. And I'm going to tell you you're right. It is really close to your eye. But what I found on this is if it comes out of your mouth hold piece, it generally goes to the side because we're pulling to the side so it's going to wobble to the side and it's not going to stick you in the eye. What I will tell you however is one time I was doing this and this end gets pretty hot because you're making friction and it got me right here under the eye and left a little blister because the end of that was so hot. But of the couple hundred times I've done that 
or done this method, that's only happened once. Okay. So what we're going to do to get this going is we're going to clean this off a spot here. I want to take my hat off, get it out of the way. Okay, I want to kind of get myself ready here. I'm going to get my board. I'm going to get me a notch started, and we're going to burn it in the same way we would burn in a hole for a bow drill. Okay, now my mouth hold piece has got a string on it here. So go around your neck. It's a pretty convenient way to hold it and keep it up out of the way. Get it untangled from my hair. So we got our spindle and our strap. We're just going to take our strap around our spindle once there. Okay. I want to get my board sitting here in front of me and I want to take another stick the same way I hold down my board for a hand drill method I'm going to put my knee on that stick just to hold my board solid okay then I'm going to take the end of my spindle and start it in that hole that we're going to burn in I'm going to grab my mouthpiece put it on top of the spindle and then I'm going to pull back and forth each way to start rotating my spindle. I obviously won't be able to talk while I'm doing this, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I got my hole just burnt in. Now when you're doing this, and you're just learning to, you're going to have to learn how to control that pressure with your neck and leaning on it with your body so you don't put too much pressure and stall your spindle out or have too light a pressure and not create the friction that you're looking for. I'm going to set that off to the side. I'm going to get my notch cut here the same way I would in any method like this, I'm going to cut it about a third of the way into my hole. Now with this palm frond, you kind of got to be careful with this stuff because it splits out pretty easy. So instead of just cutting it out like I would a normal wood board, I kind of slice it out here. Open that up on the bottom a little bit. So there I have my notch cut into my hole about a third of the way. Now I'm going to grab me something like this leaf here to catch my coal on. I'm going to center that notch over my leaf. Then I'm going to get back the way I was holding that down with my stick, just like that. Put my strap just once around my spindle.
going to go back and forth just like that until I have my coal. So, guys, there's a, another easy to me friction fire method uh, that can be utilized with a little bit different materials. Maybe you can't find a perfect thing for a hand drill. Maybe you can only find a spindle that long. Either way, it's been Steve Davis, Stillwater Woodcraft. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your support. We'll see you on the next one.